Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, automatically generate invoices yeah, using Python. And uh, if you already have, if you're like me, you already have Python installed in your computer. Uh, the other things you have to install, uh, the first one is uh, OpenPy Excel, and uh, the other one is Report Lab. So you can just do pip install OpenPy Excel, pip install Report Lab. Or if you're like me and you're using Anaconda, you can just go to uh, Anaconda, uh, launch the command prompt, and then say Conda install OpenPy Excel or Conda install Report Lab. I'm not going to do that because I already have them installed. Now, uh, the, the, uh, let's, say, let's say you got all this uh, data uh, of the business dealings that you did in, your, in the past week. Uh, this is a, uh, you got invoice number, the name of the company that you work for, or your company, whatever it is, the customer you worked with, and the description of the services that, the, that you gave to them, uh, the amount, the delivery, and uh, the total, as well as the debt. Now, let's say you want to generate, uh, you want, let's say you want to automatically generate invoices using this data. How are you going to go about doing this? This is exactly what I'm going to show you in this uh, video. <clears throat> so, the invoices we are going to generate are going to look like something like this so we are going to have the name invoice on top here and issued by your company the invoice number issued to the debt and everything else so how do you go about doing this let's get started so the first thing we are going to do is import all the libraries that we need like i said we're going we're only going to use two libraries the first one is OpenPy excel and the other one is report lab then from report lab you're going to import all these uh, packages we may, not, we may not use all these packages, but just in case, just import them. And then uh, we, we're going to, the first thing we have to do is uh, we are going to say, we're going to set the font for the PDF files by saying PDF metrics.register font. And then in the parentheses, you say TT font Arial and then Arial.ttf. We, uh, we can load our Excel file by saying workbook is equals to OpenPy Excel dot load uh, workbook and then invoices dot Excel. Then we can get that specific sheet in the workbook by saying uh, sheet is equal to workbook dot get sheet by name invoices. So this uh, this same uh, where is that this same Excel file that we have here, it could have many other uh, it could have many other sheets. We only have one sheet here, so so you can get uh, the specific sheet that you want just by you know adding this one line here the next thing we can do is we can set the page height the page width and the margin uh, so these are the things we are setting here uh now that we have all these things set uh quickly uh the first uh we can now we can create uh we can create invoices by creating a function say let's call this one create uh uh invoice And then we can say uh, for i in uh, range uh, 2 to 7. Uh, so why are we saying i uh, for i in range 2 to 7? If we open our cell phone, uh, look at uh, the data we have, you can see that we only want to access the data from uh, the second, starting from the second row to the seventh row. So everything in between. So. We only want to, yeah, so everything from this row here to the seventh one, everything in between, starting from the, for the second one to, to, uh, to the last one. So if you, you got uh, many other rows, uh, you get many other rows, let's say you get hundreds of rows, all you have to do is uh, say from range two to, to the last one, whatever it's, it's 100 or 102 or whatever it is. So, and then uh, we want to get the first information. The first information we want to get here, uh, so we want to get the data in this Excel file. And we do this by saying, uh, let's first get the invoice number. Okay, so we get this invoice number by saying, uh, let's just call this variable invoice number is equal to shit uh, dot uh, cell. And then row is equal to I. And then the column. Is going to be equal to column number one dot uh, value okay so inverse number is going to be uh sheet dot uh, sheet dot cell row i column number one look again 
make sure so we are saying for all the rows we are only getting the column number one that's the invoice number then we can do the same one for the company the customer the description so for example for the company is going to be for all the rows we want to get uh, the the column number two okay we pasted all of them so for the company is going to be uh, row i column number two and then uh, the customer is going to be in uh, uh, row i column number three dot value okay as you can see uh, company policy uh, is in column number one uh, customer is in column number three and everything else this is what we're doing here so I'm seeing an error here I don't know what it is but anyway let's continue let's just uh, down here before we do anything let's just create invoice let's just call this uh, function down here oh yeah uh, I made a mistake here this is supposed to be shit not stit uh, pardon me okay <laughs> so it's supposed to be shit dot sell yeah now that we've we've accessed this data from the uh, from the excel sheet uh, the next thing we can do is we can create a document by saying doc is equal to uh, simple simple doc template and then uh, the file name here the file name we can say uh, let's make it a string and we are going to say in the parentheses going to be the invoice number we are going to name all these uh, invoices by their invoice number so so uh, so we are going to have uh, invoice number one invoice number two and two number five there's going to be five different excel files each one named by its invoice number I mean, we are going to have five different PDF files. You can use another uh, column to name them. Uh, for example, you can use the customer's name, anything else. But I'm just going to use the invoice number. Okay. Uh, so we can say uh, invoice number, and then we it's a string. So we add uh, dot PDF to PDF. And then the page size, let's just set this page size to the, okay, just letter is okay. Now that we've created this document, uh, you can run this file. Nothing's gonna happen yet because we don't have the data in this document. And we create this data by saying data is equal to, we create an array, uh, an array of all this data. And uh, in this array, we add the data one by one. Uh, for the first one, let's just uh, leave a string like that it's going to be empty and then the second one is going to be we are going to name it in uh, this 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 is going to be the title uh the title of this uh of this of this uh pdf is going to be named invoice okay so we can add some space here uh, let's open that just to show you again let's let me open this so uh this title here this is the invoice so this space here is going to be empty and then this the next space is going to be named invoice now you can think of this as you know uh, as you know as as uh, rows and columns so in on this one right here we can leave it empty just by not writing anything okay uh, that's why we didn't put anything in here and then the next one is going to be invoice then we can put a comma and then we can uh, copy and paste all the other data So in the other data we got uh, issued by uh, issued by uh, the value of the issued by is going to be uh, the name of the company. This is the company. This is the data we got here from the Excel file. And then the invoice number is going to be the invoice number, which is also the data that we got on top here. We do this as issued to the customer. The debt is going to be the debt. Then the description here we we are only we are only going to have one set of information. See uh, this one we got. You, we are only going to have the description in this entire row. We can add this data to our document uh, by by saying uh, we can say uh, table. Let's create a table. Table is going to the table is going to be equal to table, and then in the parentheses we add the data. And then uh, we need elements. Elements is going to be just empty, empty array, and then we add. Uh, uh, the table to the elements by saying elements dot append we are appending the table 
all that we got all the elements we got the table in the elements uh down here we can say doc we can just add this, those elements to the document by saying doc dot build elements we are building the elements onto the document now we are ready to run this file uh before we do that let me just uh get rid of these other the original files just to show you that it works i want to delete them and uh let's run it again we go back to our folder and we got all these uh, pdf files again we open them and you can see now this is this was this was the original file you see it got it got all these you know grades you know showing all this information exactly where it's supposed to be the one we created doesn't have this grid so the next thing we can do is now let's try to to draw the these lines or or what or what they call the grid right here so to draw the grid uh we have to do that on top here just before creating the document on top here uh we can add a style to our table by saying ts short for table style is equal to uh table style like that then in the parentheses uh we can add an array of uh, all the styles that we're gonna add uh in our case we are only going to add one style there's many other styles that you can add you can refer to the you can refer to the you know uh, documentation of report lab in our case let's just add the on one style let's just add this style that's called uh greed just written greed like that in capital letters and then uh this grid is going to go from uh uh rows uh row zero uh to it's gonna start from okay let me just write it down first before i explain it then we're gonna say negative one negative one and then uh two and then uh colors the, the color of the grid is going to be colors dot uh, black colors dot black I just format it so it looks good like that. Uh, so what what we are doing? You're saying we are, we are we're going to add it as a style to our table that's going to be called the grid. So this grid, what it does is that it draws some lines on the table, you know, with some you know which looks like a grid. And then we want this uh uh we want to, we want to draw this grid from uh, uh row zero to I, I forgot a comma here row zero to row number negative negative one so we are saying from row from the zeroth row to the last row so this is what is what we mean by negative one because sometimes you know we don't know exactly how many how many rows that we have so you can just say negative one so it's just going to get it's just going to end at the last row we do the same for the uh columns we say from column one to the last column which is uh, negative one and then the thickness of this grid is going to be two Okay, and then down we can finally build the document again by saying doc dot build elements. Now, uh, if we run this, it should look better. Uh, we go back to our folder. Uh, we look at our file. Oops, we did not. Okay, this is what we want, and uh, it did not change. What what, what went wrong? Let's see. So we're saying uh, TS table or style. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so after adding the style to the table, we, we have to say, uh, yeah, we have to say table, we have to say, my mistake, uh, table dot set, table dot ID, something that says set style, yeah. Table dot set style. And then we say TS. This is the TS we made up here. So now uh, we run it again. Uh, we go to our folder. We open our files and boom, there we have them. Now we have all this grid and it looks beautiful. Everything is where it's supposed to be. And by the way, this grid has not only been applied to the first, uh, to the first, to the first file. If you open all the other files, you're going to see that it's the same. See, it's the same. The only difference now is that the invoice number has changed to two and the issue two has changed, the date has changed as well. You can look at all the other files as well.
also invoice number three uh, issued to Hammer United. Okay, uh, that's about it, guys, for this uh, <clears throat> video. I mean, there's a lot more things we can do. We can add different kinds of colors here. We can maybe add some company logo on top here. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to end it right here. If you got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you want all this data and the, uh, the code, I'm going to leave it in the description below in my GitHub repository. You can also reach me, uh, you can also reach out to me using my email. I'm going to leave everything in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.